Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahila or K and a happy new year. Ah! I even have my glasses. 2022. Ooh, this is so cool. So I'm going to take pictures with my family and I think we all have glasses and this. I don't have my regular glasses on. So if I like squint a little bit, it's because I'm blind. Okay. Anyway. This is this, oh my gosh, it's the new year. Let me just like show you guys for proof. You know, this isn't gonna be posted on a on January 1st, but you know, it's the first, 2022. Craziness, you see that? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I think this is gonna be, is this gonna, this isn't gonna be, this is gonna be like the second video of the year. Yeah, because I have another video, which we'll talk about in this vlog because this vlog is gonna be like a week's worth of content in one video which I miss so much. You know, Vlogmas was cool and all, but like I'm ready for the regular vlogs where I have like a bunch of days smashed in together. So I'm not necessarily gonna film every single day in a week, but you will get like multiple days in one video and I'll try to post my vlogs. I wanna have like weekly vlogs and I wanna try to post them on Saturdays. So I can like start off the week on Sundays and on Fridays, have it all edited and stuff for Saturday. Right now I'm starting on the first because it's the first and I have lots of planning and stuff that I wanna like get through with you guys for like this month. I already have a little notebook with my knit plans that I'll go over with you all and let you know like when I plan on starting it, whether I've started it or not. The yarn I'm using for the projects, if I have the yarn here with me right now, and then, yeah. So it's gonna be a little talky in the beginning, and then we'll have like a bunch of time lapses. And yeah, so while I'm waiting to take pictures with my family, I'm just filming. So let's get started with my knit plans. Okay, so, oh my gosh. I have, this is what it looks like. So I have the date when I wrote it. I was like extra planning at the end of December. And these are all my knits that I plan on knitting. So let's get started. January, okay. By the way, I usually write my stuff in, I have my stuff in my planner that I wrote, but that's like for like daily. This is like for the entire month. And then I have my calendar where I write my video ideas and stuff on there. So lots of planning. Anyway, so the first sweater knitwear on this list is a seamless mock neck sweater. Is it called mock neck? Seamless mock neck? Yeah. yeah, okay. I don't know if it's just seamless mock or seamless mock neck sweater. It is by Well Loved Knits, Bethany. She has a YouTube channel. I'll link her everything down below that I mentioned in here. And I am going to be using this yarn right here it is Drops Andes. And yeah, it, I got this from Wool Warehouse. They have lots of drops and lots of different brands. And oh my gosh, the shipping, amazing. It comes in like three days for me. Three, that's insane, okay? So I'm gonna be knitting that sweater. It's gonna be for a 24 hour video, which you guys will see before this video. So you'll see like, me talk about it in here because on the day that I do the 24 hour video, I'll tell you guys and update you guys on what's happening while filming another video specifically for the 24 hour one. Anyway, I'm gonna try and knit a sweater, which is a seamless mock neck sweater in 24 hours. So I'm gonna stay up <clears throat> for 24 hours straight with my sisters and I'm gonna try to knit it in 24 hours. And it was Kalila's idea and I was just like, oh my gosh, I wanna do it too. And I read the pattern already because I already had the pattern and like the construction is so different from what I'm used to, which is also very exciting because it's a new skill that I can acquire, that I can get down, you know? So that is the first sweater. I want to get that done in at least a week. I feel like it won't take me... I have hair on my lips? No. I feel like it won't take me that long to get it done because it's nice and chunky. I'm gonna be using like eight millimeter hooks, hooks. Look, I've only been knitting for four months, okay? About to be five later this month. And I still say hook for the needles sometimes. Ugh. I'm gonna be using eight millimeter needles. So it should be a nice seamless, seamless <laughs> knit. 
All right, the next sweater I'll be knitting is the Novice Sweater Mohair Edition, except I'm gonna be using fingering weight yarn, and I'm using yarn from Hobie. Let me show you guys. So I am using, it's in this little project bag right here that I got from, what is, what is it called? What is your company called? I forgot what it's called. I'll link the company down below, but it is, Baby Wool by Happy Sheep. Anyway, I got it from Hobie. It is 100% pure wool. And I actually already started this project. I started it last night. Yeah, last night. Yeah, yep, yep. I'm thinking, I'm like, did I listen last night? So this is what it's looking like so far. It's just the top. I'm on like the first increase that's needed and it's scrunching up. I like to let my stitches scrunch up on a cable before I transfer it to the next one so that I definitely have enough stitches on the cable. So I'm just going to scrunch this up until it is very uncomfortable and then I will switch it to the next size cable that I need. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna be working on all day today. It's gray. And I'm gonna be doing like stripes and stuff for this project, which is very exciting. So everyone's actually ready to take pictures, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm back guys, minus the thing on my head. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to show you guys my shirt. Happy New Year. My mom made it. All right, next is gonna be It's Not a Sweatshirt sweater which is by Knitting for Olive and Malika's actually starting on it so if you see her vlog you'll probably see it. Not sure but I'm gonna be working on that sweater. What am I using? I'm using oh this yarn right here for my projects that I plan on working on like soon ish. I usually like to have my yarn in different project bags next to me and not on my bookshelf. And I'm going to be using this Biche Bouche yarn. It is cashmere and lamb's wool. This right here, this yarn, I'm going to pair it with this mohair right here. It is going to be an awesome blend. So I'm going to work it on. It's not a sweatshirt with this yarn. And then I'm gonna be working on a camisole number two by My Favorite Things Knitwear. And I'm gonna be turning that top into a dress actually. And I'm pretty sure you probably saw it in Kalila's vlog. Not sure if she showed it or will show it this week, but yeah, you guys should just look that up. Beautiful. I'm gonna make a dress version because I saw Lord's dress. I'll put up a picture somewhere. And I was just like, I need a pattern where I can like try to replicate that dress because I need that dress. So I'm gonna be making a dress out of pure silk from Knitting for Olive. I have it in this brown color. Let me, let me, I'm looking at my bag full of yarn. Let me just grab one ball and show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, this is what it looks like. Look at that texture. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, beautiful. And I think it says pure silk over here. No? Oh, it says it right here. Pure Silk, and this is the color name. And it is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, love it. So I'm gonna be turning that into a dress. It's gonna be like a long-term project, so nothing I need to get done this month, but I do want to get a lot of it done, or at least start it, you know? And then the next sweater I'll be knitting is the Sable Sweater by well Love Knits, Bethany, and I'll be using this yarn, this Drops Boucle yarn. I saw like everyone raving about it on Instagram and I was just like, I need to get the yarn. I had no idea what I was making with it. And then I did like a little questionnaire on Instagram, on my Instagram stories and asked you guys like what I should make with it. And if you guys like know any patterns where someone used it and someone suggested the Sable Sweater by Well Love Knits. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I already have that pattern. So I'm gonna be starting on that this month as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna be knitting on my socks. Let me show you guys my progress so far. So I just made it to the point where I need to start the heel flap. This is what it looks like so far, hold on. There we go. This is what it looks like so far. So this is the cuff, this is the leg, 
And now I'm gonna start the heel flap. And then after the heel flap will be like the heel turn. So this will be like the heel part. I'm so excited. And I am using hand dyed yarn by Teeny Button Studio. And this is called Christmas Tree Farm. So this is gonna be like my Christmas socks that will hopefully be done in January this month. So that is it, I believe. Those are all the projects that I want to finish slash start in the month of January. And I want to finish at least one, two, at least minimum two sweaters. So I'm thinking it's gonna be the seamless mock neck sweater and a novice sweater mohair edition. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can finish at least those two projects this month. The rest of the projects can just bleed over into the next month until I finish it. And also a non-knitted project. I'm going to be working on my chunky crochet sweater. I am currently working on it. I started a pattern for it. A pattern's going to come soon. But let me show you the yarn and stuff. Yeah. So I started working on it like a couple of days ago. And I'm using drops air in this beautiful navy blue color and I wanted to do this project because I'm like I don't think I've crocheted a chunky sweater like crochet chunky sweater and I'm like I don't have a pattern for it so let me at least start one so I started the sleeve gosh you guys I really don't like chunky projects I love my thin yarn, my thin projects, but you know, it's okay. Sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone, you know? So this is the sleeve. You guys know I like my stuff a little oversized, so this is what it's gonna be. But look at that. This is half double crochet. This is single crochet. And this is what it looks like. So here is the sleeve part. And boom. So it's gonna be hanging like that. And I'll just keep crocheting. So I want to, hello. Oh. I want to, mm, do I want to finish it this month? I think I have it scheduled to finish. Yeah, so I do want to finish this project this month as well. So that'll be like three projects that I want to finish this month. We shall see what happens. But yeah, those are my plans so far. And then... As the week continues, I'll just write in my planner specifically what I want to get done each day. So today I wrote, I mean last night I wrote in my planner for today. And I'm just going to be working on a novice sweater mohair edition with my fingering weight yarn. And that's it. It's going to be nice and relaxing. And today I actually need to take pictures in my Sunday sweater. Oh my gosh, just so much information. I'm so sorry. But my Sunday sweater, I need to, oh it's right here. <laughs> I forgot. So I didn't have a video for this Sunday sweater because it was part of my vlogmas and I finished it two days ago. So this is what it looks like for the sleeves. The sleeves aren't even supposed to look like this, but when I started the sleeves, I forgot to like pay attention to the pattern because I was supposed to like start increasing and stuff. And I was already like six inches deep. <laughs> before I realized and I was supposed to be like two inches in and then start to increasing so I was just like let me just do this regular sleeve it's okay I love my sleeves like this anyway so that's what it looks like so I'm gonna take pictures in this today and I need to take pictures of my yarn for my different projects that I'm working on so that I can have that when I have it like as part of my post and stuff so lots happening I'm very excited for this year I think that's enough talking. I'm going to take you guys with me as I take pictures so you guys can just see like behind the scenes and stuff. So yeah, that's it. All right, see you guys. All right guys, I'm about to go and take some pictures. Here's Malika, here's my necklace, here's my sweater. Here are the pants I'm wearing and whoa, Crocs. Malika too. <laughs> Oh, and Kayla. Hey. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright guys, we are here at the park and it is time to take pictures. The sun? <laughs> I'm blinded, but I look cute, right?
All right, guys, I got the pictures that I want. So now it's time to go back to the house and knit and relax and take pictures of my yarn for my other projects. But that's fine because I could just do it inside or in the backyard. So yeah, let's go. All right, it's like, guys, I thought I was going to get some knitting done right now, but I'm not actually. I'm about to watch A Quiet Place 2 with my family. I'm very excited. Haven't seen two yet, so. it's the next day and I have my notebook of knit plans and I have to make a change to the projects that I'm going to be working on because Malika was working on it. it's not a sweatshirt pattern which is one of the sweaters that I plan on working on this month and she came across a few like errors that really messed up her sweater kind of and it's like an error in the pattern and like a few other people had the same problem so instead of like trying to go through that and having a botched looking sweater we decided because we like to we as in my sisters and I we like to work on the same project sometimes and we're gonna do this on a sweatshirt so we can learn German short rows and stuff but that one was like ah. so I'm going to cross that out and instead, we're going to do the Louvre sweater by Petite Knit. Louvre sweater. All right, so I crossed out the It's Not a Sweatshirt and I put the Louvre sweater because why not? And we're looking over that pattern and it looks so good. Like, easy to read, easy to catch on to, like perfect no confusion no questions on like should this be this instead of that it's great so sorry it's not a sweatshirt but louver sweater absolutely that's great anyway because i've been wanting to do that sweater for so long even before like i knew how to knit and oh my gosh since i'm not using the orange yarn the biche boost yarn that i showed you guys let me show you again since i'm not using that for the it's not a sweatshirt sweater I'm just gonna use it for the Louvre sweater and imagine this orange sweater as the Louvre oh my gosh I am so excited so excited so yeah just wanted to give you guys a little update on that since I went over my knit plans with you all and today is gonna be a nice chill day I'm just relaxing and knitting watching a bunch of videos that knitters put out yesterday and like December 1st December 1st December 31st and stuff and yeah
my morning tea so I'm ready to tackle the day. You guys saw part of me staying up for 24 hours, like a literally a little part. If you guys want to see that video, I posted it before this video, so I will, oh man, okay, up here, I believe. I haven't pointed up here in a while. It's been a while. So yeah, I'm like not tired, not sleepy, but relaxed. Like, I feel great, I feel fine. I'm just like, huh, relaxed. And I'm gonna drink this tea, I'm gonna edit this video. Today is January 6th, it is currently 12 p.m. I like just finished filming my outro for the 24 hour video. It's 12.11, it's Malika's birthday today, aka Mr. Bobvin, she's 22, which is so crazy, I'm 24. And people think she's older than me. It's crazy, it's crazy. Anyway, it's been a while since I filmed myself editing a video, which is like, it's been a while for a lot of stuff. But I'm just, I'm just glad I'm back to like my regular schedule of uploading and filming. Oh my gosh, that filming every day for 25 days straight threw me off. <sighs> anyway, I know I sound like I'm sleepy and stuff, but honestly, I'm just relaxed. I'm just chilling. I'm going to edit this video, try to have it posted today before I go out with my sisters and my mom to go out and eat for Malika's birthday. Let me tell you guys, I stay home, okay? I don't go out and eat and dress up and eat and do anything and go out. I don't go out, okay? So this is going to be weird i'm literally i have to like force myself not to be like mm, you know we could just stay home and eat something you know we could just stay home <laughs> i'm forcing myself not to do that it's time to branch out a little bit you know if it makes you a little uncomfortable and it's not going to ruin your life maybe it's time to try it you know i don't know anyway it's time to edit this video and stop talking so i'm holding this cup because i'm gonna drink a lot of this hot steaming tea and yeah film myself editing this video so let's get it Hey guys hello we're about to leave in a little bit but this is what I'm wearing it's Malika's novice sweater chunky edition some jeans and yeah that's it I am also bringing a project it's gonna be my novice sweater mohair edition and it's in the petite knit bag the new one so I have that to work on 
And yeah, so if you guys see any clips of me out there, it's most likely going to be on my phone because I'm not bringing my camera. So yeah, and I also need to take some pictures. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, I'm back home. It was great going out. Now, probably won't leave the house for another month. It was nice though, preparing me for when I plan on going out a lot. That's gonna be a task. Anyway, now I'm just gonna, I don't know. <laughs> oh jeez, he's so cute. I don't know if I want to knit more or give my hands a break, but I really don't like just sitting, not knitting. So I might just like knit and just take it slow and then film a little bit tomorrow and then end off the vlog tomorrow. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, see ya. guys it's a new day the last day of this vlog and I have my tea in uh, my little winter mug mm, it's honey vanilla chamomile so good anyway I sorry for the weird camera angles but <clears throat> I am going to just be knitting all day. I'm going to work on this project right here, the seamless mock neck sweater. And I'm gonna, my goal today is to finish that panel and then combine the two together so I can start working everything in a round. And I also need to start editing this vlog. So I just wanna knit first, and then I'll just start editing like tonight or something like that. It's not a rush or anything maybe i'll knit and i i don't know i don't know I, i'm just gonna knit first i know that for sure and then i'll start editing i probably won't like film myself editing just a little knitting and then end out the vlog so that i can like i said edit this video but yeah i'm excited to start the next one because i'm gonna be finishing a project in the next vlog and that's gonna be fun and I might even start a new one. We shall see. You guys will just have to keep up with these vlogs because they will be continuous. I'm excited. Okay, let's knit. So I finally, I'm finally done with the, you know, separate front panel, back panel thing. Now it is all together in a round. So now I will be knitting in a round until the end. But this is what it's looking like. You can see the sleeve holes right here. I'm so excited because I can try it on after I'm done since the sleeve holes are just like open and I'm excited. Ah! So yeah, this is what it's looking like. It's so crazy. I have this color like I'm I haven't knitted or crocheted I don't think with this color before so it's very different also super cool This feels like it's gonna be so warm and uh, 
It's, it's such an easy pattern to follow. I'm really glad I chose that to work on. But that's gonna be it for this vlog, guys. I got a lot of that sweater done. I got a lot of my other sweater, the novice sweater, done. At least, like, I'm done with the yoke. Well, I'm almost done with the yoke. I need to actually, like, transfer my stitches to a longer cable and then finish up like a couple of rows of the yoke and then split for sleeves on that sweater but you guys will see all of that in the next vlog yeah which I'll start filming probably like tonight and it's just gonna be a nice continuation like I said before so yeah like I said that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys are working on down below I would love to know don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you whenever I post another video and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do post a lot of updates on there so that is a great way to know what I'm doing on a daily and I'll see you guys in my next video